Hello everybody and welcome back to Elaris Labs YouTube channel. In this video, we'd like to introduce you to the toolkit that our system provides for user management within the platform. For more convenient user management, all the necessary tools are gathered in a single interface, thereby ensuring great ease of system users creation and editing. The interface is available in Start Administration menu and has a simple two-sectional structure. The left section contains the table of existing users and displays the basic information about them. Like most tables in Elaris, users table can be filtered by any column and the number of displayed columns can be changed as well. On the right side of the interface, you can find the add and edit menus with the number of fields that should be filled in to create a new user or edit the existing one. Along with setting such basic user parameters as login, password and contact info, you are able to set the expiry date for each user or restrict the IP addresses from which he or she is allowed to log in. Due to the fact that Alaris platform covers a wide range of voice, wholesale and SMS hub and business aspects and has dedicated interfaces for them, the possibility to limit users' access to different parts of the system is essential. For this purpose, the Add and Edit menu contains the Roles section that is designed to ensure a flexible access setup for each user. User's level of access depends primarily on the carrier it is assigned to. Users can be created under any partner added to the system, but access to the main interface is allowed only for users created under system owner, which is added to the platform from the very beginning as the most privileged carrier. Users created under other carriers will have access only to separate web interfaces, such as partner portal and campaign portal, where they will be able to manage objects of their own carrier only. Users created under System Owner can be granted full access to all system interfaces by enabling No Restrictions checkbox. With No Restrictions checkbox disabled, you can grant access to one or several specific system interfaces by selecting them in the Roles section of Add and Edit menu. The list of the roles is divided by separate groups for each interface, where view and edit permissions are available. Thus, it is possible to allow a user to view all data in a specific interface, view and edit all data or hide the whole interface from the user at all. Such approach to user roles management provides the opportunity to delineate the responsibilities between all the staff, so users from the technical department won't be able to deal with financial data, and users who are in charge of finances will not see connection settings. Another option which may become useful in user management is permission inheritance, which allows to inherit permission from the existing users to the new ones. Permission inheritance can save a lot of time when numerous users with similar roles should be created. When a user inherits the permissions, it can work with the same objects as the user from which he or she gets the permissions. Well, that was all the information on user's interface we'd like to cover in this video. In case you have any questions regarding user management in LRS system, you are welcome to contact us via the email below.